Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to create your storefront on the Bonfire Print On Demand platform. This will include setting up your profile, creating your banner, and much more. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. Bonfire is a print-on-demand marketplace similar to Redbubble or Teespring where you can design and sell custom t-shirts, hoodies, and other products. They will handle the payment processing, order fulfillment, and customer service for each sale that you receive, allowing you to focus your attention on marketing and creating more awesome designs. For this tutorial, we'll be going over how to set up your profile and create your online store. Creating a branded online store will allow customers to easily browse your products. So to get started, let's go up to the top menu and click on the Get Started button. This should take you to the welcome page where you can select how you want to start. Since we're creating an online store, let's click on Sell Online. This should take you to another page where you can select to start a campaign or create a store. Let's click on Create a Store, then click on Continue. If you haven't already created a Bonfire account, go ahead and do that now. If you have, go ahead and log in. Once you log into Bonfire, you should be taken to your dashboard overview. Here you can create new campaigns, view your orders, and of course, create your store. You can also manage your account settings and view your payouts. But since we're here to create our storefront, let's click on the Store tab. Creating a store makes it easy for customers to browse all your campaigns in one place. So to get started, let's click on Create My Store. You can then select a name for your store, then click Continue. Bonfire should then start creating your store. And voila! Here's my brand new Bonfire storefront. Now that I have a store, I can start designing and adding my branding. So let's start with the top banner here. To get started, let's look down at the bottom right and click on the Edit Header button. This should open up your header settings menu where you can select a theme and add a cover photo. For our theme, we currently have the dark theme active, but you also have the option to select a light theme or a custom theme. Under the custom menu, you can select your text color or a custom background color. When selecting your background color, make sure you're selecting colors that match your brand. You want everything to have a nice consistent look. But for this example, I think I'll just stick with the dark theme. If you take a look at your header, you'll see an edit icon beside your title. This should open up your store settings menu where you can edit your title, your store URL, and your subtitle. If you already have a slogan or tagline for your brand, go ahead and add this to the subtitle. For my store, I'm just going to type in t-shirts, accessories, and more. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on Save Settings. Now my store has a title and a subtitle. You could leave your header like this, but for my header, I think I'm going to add an image. So let's click on the Edit Header button and go back to our header settings menu. Here's where you can select to add a cover photo to your header. Your cover photo should be under 5 megabytes in size and in JPG or PNG format. The recommended size for your cover image is 1600 by 900 pixels. So as an example, let's add a cover photo to my header. I'm going to click on choose a file, then open up the image from my desktop. There we go. I'm simply using a stock photo, but feel free to create a custom cover using a program like Canva. If your store title is hard to see against your cover image, you can change the transparency by using the slider bar here. If you look down at the bottom, you also have the option to use an image instead of your store title. If you select the option here, you'll see a new button pop up where you can choose a file. Just like your cover image, it should be in JPG or PNG format and under 5 megabytes. So here's a brand logo that I created for my store using Canva. If you wanted to create your cover image and logo using Canva, make sure you click the link in the video description to try Canva Pro for free for 30 days. So I now have my store cover image, my store title, and my store subtitle. Next, we can create an about section for our store and upload a store logo. So let's start by adding a logo to my store. The logo should be in JPG or PNG format with a maximum file size of 5 megabytes. So I'm going to click on upload a logo and open my image. There we go. I can now click the about box here and add a short description of my brand and store. For this section, this should be a short description under 100 characters. Underneath your About section, you'll see a tab where you can add your social media links. Go ahead and click on the tab, 
and you can add social media links from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and several others. So to add my Facebook brand page, I'm just gonna copy the URL and paste it into the text field here. Once you're finished adding all your social media pages, go ahead and click on Save Links. You should now see social media icons from all the pages you connected below your About section. Next, if you also have your own website, you can click on Add a URL and post the website link here. Once you've added your website URL, go ahead and click on Add Link. Customers should now be able to click the link to your website right below your About section. So now that we've added our store logo, our About section, our social media links, and our website, we can now scroll down and add a secondary title and a longer description of our store. For your secondary title, it can be a maximum of 200 characters. There's also a section here where you can add an optional description of your store where Bonfire recommends you talk about your brand's mission or organization. Also, for this About section, you can also edit your text by adding bold, italics, underline, or links. Take some time to describe your brand and maybe describe some of the products you sell. And voila! We've just created all the basic sections for our Bonfire storefront. But before we can publish our storefront, we first have to add at least one campaign to our store. So for now, let's click on Save for Later. So now that we've saved our work up to this point, let's go over how to add our campaign. If you haven't created a Bonfire campaign yet and you need help doing so, there's a tutorial on my YouTube page walking you step by step through the entire process of creating your first campaign. I'll add a link to the tutorial to the description and to the card at the top right of the screen here. So once you finish creating your first product campaign, you can scroll down to the section here that says add campaigns to your store. If you click the box here, you should see all the campaigns that you've already created. This makes it easy for you to select the exact products you want to add to this store. So let's select the campaign that I've already created and click on the add campaign button. And voila, your campaign should now be added to your store. If you click the arrow icon here, you can see all the products that are included in your campaign. So now that we've created our storefront and added our campaign, let's go up to the top and click on Save and Publish. Your store should now be live on the Bonfire Marketplace. You can now share your store URL or share your store on social media using the icons here. But let's click on the Go to My Store button and see how it looks. So here's my completed storefront on Bonfire. Customers can now come here to learn more about my brand and to browse my products. When customers click on a product, They'll be taken to the product listing page where they can select different options such as their colors, size, or their style. When they're ready to make a purchase, they can simply click on Add to Cart and they'll be taken to the checkout process. So that's a brief overview of how to create a storefront on the Bonfire Marketplace. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.